Good morning. Good morning, everyone. My name is Joe Lapano, and I'm the CEO of Tampa International Airport. And I'd like to welcome you here today. Um, thanks for coming out. And we're here to send off our mayor, who's heading out uh, to talk about the Republican National Convention and our wonderful community. His trip is just one more example of how leaders throughout Tampa Bay are working together for the benefit of the region. And Team Tampa is on a roll. The airport's proud to play a huge role in hosting the convention. We expect about 50,000 visitors to see Tampa International Airport as their first and last view of our wonderful city. And we're confident that their impression will be very, very good. We've made a lot of changes at the airport over the last year. We've introduced new food and beverage concepts throughout our terminals. We've renovated most of our restrooms. We've introduced tourism information booths at the baggage claim and installed flat panel televisions to tell people about our wonderful community. But we're just one piece of the puzzle. Everyone in this community is working to make a really good impression. Some of the people that are working on this are here today. So let me introduce our next speaker, Jim Dean, incoming chairman of Tampa Bay and & Company and park president of Bush Gardens. Jim? Thank you, Joe. Uh, and Joe, thank you so much for hosting us today. This is a great event, and you and your staff here at the airport are great partners with, with all of us. Uh, as we enjoy working with you and securing additional flights and bringing additional and new visitors to our great destination. As the incoming chair of Tampa Bay and Company, which is Tampa and Hillsborough's Convention and Visitors Bureau, uh, we're excited today has finally arrived. And Kelly Miller would like to have been here today, but he's off uh, meeting with new visitors and, and driving new, new uh, visitors to our destination as well. So I'm, I'm representing Kelly and the whole staff uh, here this morning. Uh, since our team helped in the efforts to bring the RNC uh, to Tampa Bay, we've worked diligently to capitalize on this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to promote our destination. Uh, and thanks to funding from Hillsborough County Tourism Tax and Visit Florida, we've built an affordable, comprehensive co-op marketing program for fellow economic development organizations. And, and to participate, we currently had about 12 partners uh, working with us on these programs, and there are a few of them here today. I'd like to recognize them. First of all, Rick Homans from the Tampa Hillsboro Economic Development Corporation. Thank you, Rick. Uh, Ron Cristaldi from the Chamber. Uh, Rick Hamilton from the Convention uh, Center. Thank you, Rick. And certainly Joe Lapano and his team from what I think is the best airport in the world. Some of the programs that we're working on uh, with these partners includes partnering with Southwest Airlines and U.S. Airways uh, for major spreads in their upcoming August um, in-flight magazines, bringing in-city in meeting planners, media, and the D.C. Uh, site selectors for a fam trip on August 20th and 21st, uh, as well as securing real business for the future, and that's real economic development for our, for our destination, Tampa Bay. And lastly, we're hosting individual national media site visits. Uh, for future stories and key markets to this destination. We especially recognize the importance of reaching out to national media in advance of the RNC to pitch our Tampa Bay messages. We engaged with an experienced PR firm to help us connect with major broadcasts and print agencies and they've done a great job for us. And that's what we're here today for. We've challenged our PR firm to build a media interview schedule in New York and Washington, D.C and they're delivering our key Tampa Bay messages and they've done a great job of it. And of course, nothing's possible without the support of Commissioner Hagan. Commissioner's joined us today and he's recognized this once in a lifetime opportunity as well. And he's leading in funding to create such a comprehensive marketing plan. So if I could ask Commissioner Hagan to share his thoughts with us, that would be great. Good morning, everyone. I'm uh, Commissioner Ken Hagan. I'm delighted to be here today with uh, only 41 days remaining until the Republican National Convention. Uh, the excitement is really beginning to build throughout uh, the Tampa Bay region. As the largest event uh, ever held uh, in Tampa Bay, uh, this is our region's time to shine uh, in front of the world. Uh, this convention really offers an unprecedented opportunity uh, to showcase our community and really display what our residents already know that we live in a remarkably special place that is a must-see destination. And as a lifelong uh, resident, words simply cannot uh, express uh, the excitement that I feel uh, and the pride that I have in our community. And I personally, as does everyone, I want to extend our warmest hospitality and welcome 
uh, all the delegates, family, uh, media, uh, and even the protesters. Um, and certainly I'd be remiss if I didn't immediately acknowledge uh, the extraordinary efforts of a cadre of volunteers uh, that I know will make the visit to our region memorable. Having worked on uh, both of our RNC bids and witnessed the uh, thousands of, of folks who immediately volunteered uh, to participate in this uh, event, I can say without hesitation that our residents are eager uh, to welcome our guests with open arms. And that's because this community recognizes that, that this event will be a real shot in the arm for the economy. We're talking about 3,000 or, or 3,000 jobs, 75,000 room nights, 170 million in new direct spending, 100 million in wages. And the last week in August is typically a very slow time for our hospitality and tourism industry. So this convention uh, really cannot come at a better time for our community as it will uh, provide a tremendous boost for our attractions, hotels, all of our tourism partners, uh, and our small business community. And as a result of the corporate recruitment and increased uh, tourism and convention business, which will occur uh, from the worldwide exposure generated from this once in a lifetime opportunity, the indirect and long term uh, economic impact will likely exceed uh, the short term uh, benefits. And that's why uh, the county commissioners unanimously approved uh, my recommendation to utilize tourist tax funds uh, to market and promote Tampa Bay, both in advance of the convention as with this media trip and with our airline profiles, as well as with the actual convention itself. Uh, in every aspect of our work, uh, I intend to showcase uh, the melting pot of culture and diversity that is known as Tampa Bay. And the message I want to deliver loud and clear is that we are authentic, we are exciting, and we want you to come back here real soon. Uh, working together, uh, I'm convinced that this will be the most successful convention that we've ever held. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Hagan. Thank you very much. Uh, and now I'd like to introduce uh, someone that's relatively new to our community that's leading one of our economic development organizations, the Tampa and Hillsborough County Economic Development Corporation. His name is Rick Holmans, the president of that, of that group, and he's doing a fantastic job for us. Rick. Thank you. So good morning. I have uh, just three quick points to make. Uh, one is I want to uh, reiterate the thank you to the uh, Tourism Development Board and the, the Board of County Commissioners and all of our partners that are here. Number two is this is a, a unique event because this is one of the first times that all of our region's economic development groups, business groups have come together uh, for one collaborative effort. And the reason why we're doing this is because we know that the stakes are high, the opportunities are high, and the way that we're going to get the biggest bang for our buck is, is through working together. Finally, uh, what we, we've been talking for months about the opportunities that the RNC provides uh, to tell the story, the new story about Tampa Bay, about all the things that are happening here, the port, the airport, the universities, the quality of life, and the young people that are moving to our area for new opportunity. There's a, a lot of great storytellers that we have in our community. Uh, and we're fortunate to send one of the best to New York and Washington in about an hour and a half. He'll be boarding his flight. It's my pleasure to introduce Mayor Bob Buckhorn, who will be telling the story of Tampa Bay to the national media. Mayor. Thanks, everybody, and uh, particularly thank you to uh, our partners that you see standing up here. This, uh, this Republican National Convention is the biggest thing that this city has ever done. I mean, I've been around for three out of the four Super Bowls, and if you combined all of those Super Bowls and multiplied it by about 10, that is the magnitude and the scale and the number of moving parts that is involved in hosting this Republican National Convention. And I will tell you unequivocally that we could not do it without all of the people that you see standing behind me, as well as hundreds, if not thousands, of other folks who understand that this is Tampa's time to shine on the world stage. We will never, ever get this opportunity again like we will get this August when the entire world will be watching Tampa, Florida. And we will get to tell Tampa's story in all of its shades and ethnicities and genders and orientations. We will tell it about Ybor City. We will tell it about the beaches of Pinellas County. We will tell the story of Lakeland. We will tell the story of downtown St. Petersburg. We will tell the story of Bush Gardens and the aquarium and the Lowry Park Zoo and all of the great amenities that we as natives and residents of this community know. But the world doesn't know. 
And so when we are done, not just after the next two days, but when we are done over the next month and a half, and when all of those delegates and visitors leave this city, I want them to know this city is a great place to visit, to invest, to grow their company, to relocate their company, to move their business, to buy real estate. And if we do that, this will be a very, very successful event. So my job is very simple over the next two days. It's to do what I do every day and what Ken Hagen does every day and what every one of these folks do every day. And that's to go out and tell the story of Tampa, Florida and talk about what a great place this is and talk about the great restaurants, talk about this great airport, talk about what a wonderful community this is and what a diverse community this is. This community looks like America in all of its shades and we couldn't be more excited about it. So my job over the next two days is to tell every media outlet that we can from the Wall Street Journal to the Washington Post to the National Journal to Fox and Friends to NBC News to Governing Magazine to whoever will stand still long enough for me to stop and tell them Tampa's story is exactly what I'm going to do. And it will start when I get on that plane to whoever is unfortunate enough to be sitting next to me. <laughs> We're going to be telling Tampa's story. So this is a great opportunity. This is the beginning, not the end. Uh, this community has come together unlike I have ever seen it come together before. And we will do what we always do, which is to make us proud. So I'm excited. I know this city's excited. I know Rick is, Rick Hamilton, who runs Tampa Convention Center, is excited. He's been evicted. <laughs> and we're excited about that as well. So uh, thank you to all of the folks who made this possible. Um, we're going to have a great trip over the next two days. And uh, it, starts, it starts today, everybody. Let's, uh, let's go make it happen. Thanks. I'm assuming somebody has a question. <laughs> Rick. So when they ask uh, on this trip, what is the brand of the Tampa Bay Area? Well, I think the brand is multifaceted. I think the brand is, uh, it's an economic development brand. It's a tourism brand. It's a, uh, a business brand. Um, I think thematically there are some things that we talk about that we all have in common. Uh, but ultimately it's a multifaceted, multi-approach appro approach uh, that will be taken, that all of these folks represent different phases of it, different sides of it, different parts of that equation. Um, but ultimately, the message that we want to leave, not just over the next two days, but over the next month and a half and beyond, is that Tampa, Florida is a great place to do business, to visit, to enjoy our assets and our amenities, um, and, and to come back. And if we do that, we'll be very successful. You yeah, Chip. You, you kind of touched on this, Mayor. The goal is really to get people to return. It is. And to return in many different ways. To return to visit, to return to invest, to return to buy, to our international visitors. This will be the first time they've been exposed to Tampa, Florida. And, you know, many people around the world think Florida consists of Miami and Orlando. When we are done at the end of August, they will know about Tampa, Florida. And so ultimately, if we do that, Chip, we will have succeeded. And this will have been worth it. Yeah. That's it. Roger. We're good. Thanks, everybody.